Hello, my name is Andrew Parker, aka Abraka Andrew, aka Wafello, aka Spider-Man, and welcome to College Vlog, a series where I talk about my interesting, fun, and otherwise bizarre stories from college. Today we're going to talk about how college is a place where certain substances are used with frequency. People are getting drunk and high all the time, is what I'm saying. Personally, I do not drink, I do not do drugs, I do not smoke, so I have the wonderful opportunity of just being able to stand back and just view these people. I get to watch as these people stumble around, talk to walls, scream about how great this song is, and stuff like that. So it is quite entertaining. It is more entertaining, however, because I am a magician. Now the first story I'm going to tell occurs at a Taco Bell. I was going to Taco Bell to get some of the wonderful food that is Taco Bell food and put it into my body. I don't know what it does once it's, once it's down here. I don't, I don't know what happens, probably something bad. But while it's still up here, it's great. As I was waiting on my food, a group of four girls about my age came in and sat down on the opposite side of the restaurant. Now, I'm a magician, so I don't know about you, but when I see a group of girls about my age, my hand just naturally goes down. Sounds weird, just give me a second. It goes down, goes into my pocket, pulls out my deck of cards. I get those bad boys out, and then my body just naturally gravitates towards them. It's time to do some magic. I don't know. I don't know why I'm stabbing them with <laughs> with the magic. I don't I don't I don't stab people with with magic, okay? That's not what I normally do. On God, stab them with magic. Okay, that's not how that works. So anyways, I go up to them to do magic, and as I'm going up to them and I as I start talking to them, I realize that something is off, something is weird, and I come to realize that they've been They've been blazing it. <laughs> Is that the correct terminology? I don't freaking know. And I was pretty sure that this was the case just by the way they were acting, but I was positive when one of the girls, I'm not making this up, in the middle of a trick, I get her to pick a card and she just goes, end quote, uh, I'm too high for this. <laughs> oh my gosh. So long story short, I don't know if they understood any of the magic that I did because I don't think they could understand anything at that moment. Story number two. I was at an apartment with about 10 people. There was a lot of alcohol at this little get together. Now, three of these people, I don't I don't even know how to begin to describe. I don't know how much they had to drink, but it was way too much. They were like telling lamps that they loved them. I love you. I'm just kidding, that didn't happen. So what I did was this. I went and got a chocolate chip cookie and I palmed it in my hand. That's what magicians do, we, we palm things. Wait, I have a chocolate chip cookie, watch. What the, what is this? I want a real cookie. Yeah. Palmed cookie in my hand, okay? So I have this pookie, this pookie? This, <laughs> <laughs> this is a pookie, ladies and gentlemen. It's a palmed cookie, actually, I shortened it. Pookie. I'm trademarking that. So I have this palmed cookie in my hand and I go up to one of the girls that's just completely out of it and I reach behind her ear and pull out the cookie in the most magical manner possible and I acted like it was the most amazing thing that had ever happened and she reacted like it was the most amazing thing that had ever happened. Now I've tried to explain what happened to her face, like how she reacted, but my friends who were there described it best when they said the best way to describe it is when the sloth from Zootopia laughed at the joke. At the same party, one of my friends, let's just call him Jack. Jack was in the other room and he was in the bathroom and everyone else was in this other room. And all of a sudden we hear just this <laughs> and we all look over and his body is just sprawled out on the ground <laughs> and his eyes are closed. At first, I didn't know if he was unconscious or if he was just taking a nap or if he was dead. So we go over there and we help him up. I don't even know if he knew that it happened. I was just, I was just like curious, like what just happened? So I, I just summed it up in one word. I was just like, Jack. And he looks at me, he looks at me and this is what he does. <laughs> One more thing, if you would like to see a video of me doing magic for drunk people, here's a little sneak peek. No way. No. Way. no, no. Are way. you kidding me? Wait, stop, do that. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> okay, you gotta do that to me again. <laughs> okay, but do it to me. I'm, gonna, oh I'm right handed now. Click right here for the full video. If you like this episode of College Vlog, make sure to give it a like. Also, you must subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.
Thanks for watching. Goodbye.